Hello, welcome to Discovered Hacks. Today I'll talk about Tramp and how it can help you using Emacs when you work on remote servers. So it's something that comes built in with Emacs and I used it for the first time for 20 years, more than 20 years ago, and so it's been there for a long time and then I've kind of forgotten about it. And I guess the reason is that uh, I really like Screen, I really like Emacs, and I'm fairly sufficient in Vim. But still, Tramp is awesome and it allows you to use your locally installed and carefully tweaked and configured Emacs on any remote server. So I'll go through, you typically have these two scenarios. You have your local Emacs and you want to connect to a server. So you have SSH access from your computer to the server you want to jump, uh, work on. And the other scenario here is that you have a jump server. Uh, from which you can jump into the server that you are interested in. So typically, uh, if I work on a customer and then that customer has a certain VPN, I install the VPN inside a virtual machine and then I connect to my, from a local machine to the virtual machine and from the virtual machine to the actual server. Right. And to support that scenario, um, you just need a little bit of magic. So I'll go through that as well. Right. But the Primary use case, and I think this is the way most people use Tramp, and which will indeed work out of the box, is that you have your local Emacs, and then you connect to the server. And so let's do that. So here on the right hand side, I have a virtual machine called Solar. And I can SSH into that one. Um, that's nice. But for instance, I don't have Emacs here. So if I want to do any serious work, well, I could install Emacs, but maybe I don't have admin access on this machine. Um, I could use Vim, but maybe Vim is not installed. Maybe I don't prefer, uh, you know, I prefer to use Emacs. Of course, I would prefer to use Emacs for any uh, serious work or, yeah, you know what I mean. Um, so here on the left hand side, I have a local Emacs and it's a graphical Emacs. It has, you know, I can have various font sizes and different buffers. I have a mouse support, I can, display images inside of the Emacs, I can view PDFs, I can do all of that. Um, and now I want to use my local Emacs here on the left hand side to work on the remote server here on the right hand side. And the way that works is that you do control XF, like normal, find file, and then instead, instead of slash, you would do slash SSH, and then colon, and then user at server. So that's solar at solar, and then another colon, and then the file path. So for instance, let's say um, fstab, file system table. So now you, here you can say, I am connected. This is not my local fstab. This is the one inside the virtual machine. And you can see here it's, well, it's right protected. Um, and it says add solar here. So there is an indication that this is a remote file. And of course I can, you know, I, I can, can show you my actual ones. So you can see they are different. So this is my local machine, and this here is is on the server. So there's definitely two different ones. Um, when you look at it in the buffer listing, you can tell that there is a there are some differences here. You can see the buffer name has slash ssh, and the other one doesn't. Another nice way to see the difference if you. Uh, if you use council, let's see which what am I using? Um, council switch buffer. So this has implemented coloring. So the remote files they are in a different color. So here they're kind of blue, purple, blue, and the local files are are the standard foreground color of my thing. And uh, so this is a really nice way to see what, what what's local, what's what's remote. And <laughs> yeah, and in a way, there's not much more to it, you know. Um, now you can, if I, you know, get to, to show you bash logic, you know, uh, now I get syntax highlighting and everything that I've installed on my local Emacs, and I can, you know, make use of that on the remote file. So it's really, really nice. So you don't have to install the full toolchain that you need just to work comfortably on remote servers. There are limits to this, of course, and if you want to run something advanced as LSP, um, I'm sure there are tricks to set that up, but but uh, yeah, for basic, 
editing, this just works out of the box. No setup required. Uh, Tramp is uh, stable. It's been there for many, many years. And um, there's one more scenario I want to show you. So this is what I just did. Control X, F, uh, X, Control F to open the file on the remote server. And, and of course, if your local username is the same, uh, sorry, as Onyx uh, remote server, then you don't need to specify user at here. And um, and then the, the file system path. Now, a more advanced setup is if you have, in the middle here, you have a jump server. Or, uh, so you, as in, you SSH into that server and then you SSH from that server again to the actual server where you want to get into. And this is also possible using your local Emacs. So then for that to work, I find um, the nicest and easiest is to edit the SSH configuration. So this is in your .SSH directory where you have your uh, public and private keys. Uh, you also have a config file. So you can read more about that if you do man and then ssh underscore config um, there's a lot of things you can configure uh, proxy command and proxy jump uh, are the two interesting ones in this context I won't go through all the details but I'll just show you the most important settings which is so here I want to log in my goal, the goal is to get to this server called server and I'm using the username real user so it's obviously different from a local one so i specify that here and then the third thing i need to configure here is the jump server so you can either do proxy jump jump server or you can specify proxy command and then if you have a more advanced stanza you can use you can put all the different options here okay it works works the same and with that you can fulfill this as a uh, Let's see, I lost my slides here, just a moment. Um, then you can fulfill this pretty advanced scenario. Um, that's what I want to show you today. Uh, you never need to leave the comforts of your local Emacs. And Tramp comes pre-installed with Emacs. You don't need to install anything, it's there. And this here is basically the only command that you need to remember, which you already know because you're an Emacs user. Uh, and then just remember slash ssh, then a colon, and user at server, and then a second colon, and then a path. And it works for file uh, auto completion, so maybe I didn't show you that. So if I do tab tab here in my local Emacs, it tab completes on the remote server. So it's pretty awesome, right? Emacs is awesome. Uh, that was it. Uh, it's a great comprehensive manual as well. See you next time.